Hi, I wanted to show you a little bit of what I've been working on over the past couple of days. We see here a excerpt of a language where you can define characters by means of name, um, something like that, and where you can also define some conditionals. Doesn't really matter, it's just a list of, of names, so very similar to the characters. Um, but one thing I added was to have stuff like buttons in your editor that allows you to set properties on your domain model. So currently there's a Boolean flag in our script, which is the root node of this little language. And whenever I press this button, I toggle its value from true to false. And based on its value, a different editor is selected to represent the data. So uh, once we have a horizontal stack with a separator, um, which is a comma in this case, so separators is also something I added, um, where you can just use random strings to have interlaced between collections. Um, and the other representation is a indented uh, vertical stack where your data is stacked from top to bottom. Now, when I was working on that, I realized what I actually need is debugging tools. So I decided to exercise some dog feeding and use my own technology to build this view, which basically uses my own DSLs uh, designed and, and written in my own API uh, or using my own API to show me the domain tree on the left, the transformed cell tree, which is eventually transformed to HTML which is then used to be rendered in our actual editor, which is on the very right. So in other words, when I change something over here, then this change is reflected in our projections on the left as well. Same goes for the property that I mentioned earlier. So over here, we see this show horrors property, which is currently true. So we see our conditionals, uh, conditionals laid out horizontally when I press it, it uh, is toggled to false and accordingly another uh, editor is selected. So we can see that in here as well. Whoops. Yeah, the usability is not quite there yet. Um, but uh, what we see here is the constant conditionals, which uh, is followed by another uh, stack cell which contains the actual input cells like ABC, for example, is here. Um, and DEF is the next one and so forth. And when I press the button, not only does our flag in the domain tree change, but of course this change is propagated forward and um, we should see changes here. And here we go. Instead of using indentation, we use a separator property uh, and is Horus is set to true which is then used by the transformation to HTML to select the right uh, HTML elements and styling in order to get this projection going. Yeah, um, using these like uh, dog feeding techniques in order to uh, be forced to use your own stuff in not just a toy example, but building actually something with a little bit more functionality uh, is always a good idea. So uh, here I actually, what I needed and already used is the capability of collapsing uh, cells. So these things are all also just vertical and horizontal cells. Um, so this is now available not only uh, in this view here, but also in all your DSLs that you build, you could just mark a uh, cell as collapsible. And currently I think it's only possible for stack cells to be collapsible. Um, and then you get this little button on, on the left, uh, which you can press in order to collapse and expand uh, your collection or your, your stack. Another thing I wanted is uh, having a little bit more flexibility in terms of styling. So I added some style types to the editor nodes. And of course, the as you can see here, this is allowing me to set the color, um, the text color. Uh, of a node, and in this case, the conditional keyword. And in the long run, this information should actually not live in the type of the node, but actually be part of the properties and, and features maybe. Um, currently, it was just easier to encode it directly in, in this type, but in the long run, it should actually live. The same goes for, for the font style here as a property in, in the 
the node to be more idiomatic here. But uh, in general, I'm pretty happy with the result. It allows me to um, do live debugging, so to speak, of my projections, um, even though there's certainly a lot of potential for improvement. So as always, I'm looking forward to feedback. Um, let me know what you think, um, and thanks for watching.